did you know that diabetes is the most common cause of kidney disease worldwide so i am dr ashwiti haridas i am a consultant nephrologist and kidney transplant physician practicing at apollo hospital in navi mumbai today i'll be talking to you a little bit about diabetes and kidney disease and the connection between the two of them and what can be done to prevent the onset of kidney disease in patients who have diabetes and what treatment options are available to patients who have been detected to have diabetic kidney disease or kidney disease due to diabetes diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure all over the world and as we all know the incidence of diabetes is increasing worldwide especially in low and middle income countries like ours if you have 100 patients at one point of time who have kidney failure it is very likely that 50% of those patients have had diabetes and have now gone on to require either dialysis or kidney transplant so how does diabetes affect the kidney so it is typically a slow and gradual process uh, because of the spike in the blood glucose levels you have damage to the filtration apparatus of the kidney initially the kidneys are forced to work too hard that is called as hyperfiltration over over some time they become overworked and this leads to damage to the kidney and you have this cycle of hyperfiltration and damage ongoing which leads to a slow and steady deterioration in kidney function which can then progress to end stage kidney disease end stage kidney disease is when uh, you know you come to a point where you might either require dialysis or kidney transplant some form of renal replacement so i am very often asked what are the signs and symptoms of kidney disease so unfortunately the symptoms of kidney disease be it diabetic kidney disease or kidney disease due to any other cause they set in quite late initially the patient might be completely asymptomatic or he may have no problems at all in the presence of a kidney dysfunction which is why screening for kidney disease is very important and prevention of diabetic kidney disease is also very important much early in the disease so some of the signs and symptoms include if you notice any swelling in your legs or if you notice any pitting edema uh, or any pitting uh, at your ankles this indicates fluid retention this could be an early symptom of diabetic kidney disease the other symptoms include if you notice any frothing or bubbling in your urine uh yet other symptoms are if you have any easy fatigue fatigability if you get tired very soon if you've been detected to have low hemoglobin so these can all be signs and symptoms of kidney disease unfortunately these are very uh, insidious and uh, they are many times mistaken for some other other things but they very well might be just related to the onset of kidney problems in a patient who already has diabetes so screening for a kidney disorder in patients who have diabetes is very important can diabetic kidney disease be prevented definitely it can be prevented but prevention should start very early so from the time a patient has been diagnosed to have diabetes that's when the prevention starts so patients who have good sugar control a uh, good blood pressure control good control of their cholesterol who manage their weight well it's very unlikely i mean it's there are less chances that they would progress to uh, go on to you know require uh, uh, you know they would go on to develop kidney dysfunction so there are patients who have good sugar control a uh, uh, good blood pressure control good cholesterol control who manage their weight properly 15 to 20 years down the line also they may not have any kidney disease related to diabetes uh typically the patients who go on to develop kidney disease early on in the presence of diabetes are those patients with uncontrolled sugars uh with uncontrolled blood pressure who are not able to manage their weight properly so they typically progress go on to develop kidney disease much earlier uh in the presence of diabetes so when it comes to screening tests luckily uh, you know it's very easy to screen patients with diabetes for kidney disease so these are very simple very non invasive and really cheap tests so you have a blood test and a urine test blood test is a serum creatinine and urine tests are tests which detect uh, any leakage of protein in the urine and it is recommended that they be done once in once in year for all patients who have diabetes so the advantage of doing these screening tests is that if the disease is picked up in the earlier stages so we have treatment options that can prevent the progression of kidney disease many times by the times a patient has presented to us in the opd they come in with creatinine of 5 6 and then they ask questions you know can my kidney disease be completely reversed 
unfortunately the answer to that is no because it's already been some time and it's already too late however if a patient presents early at an early stage when the only symptom is that you know they have leakage of protein in the urine there are many treatment options that can actually prevent the progression of kidney disease in these patients uh, which is why it is very important for all patients with diabetes to get screened for kidney disease and uh, the screening is recommended to be done on an uh, yearly basis so for patients who have an established kidney disease what are the treatment options available for these patients many times unfortunately when the first time somebody hears uh, you know that they have a kidney problem the very first thought that comes to their mind is that oh i'm going to require dialysis now which is a very incorrect concept uh, that is not the case in the early stages of kidney disease in fact even in advanced kidney disease up to a certain point patients can be managed very well on medicines it is only towards you know a certain point when uh, the toxins are very high or when they develop signs and symptoms of kidney failure which are not improving with medicines that we have treatment options in the form of either dialysis or a kidney transplant that is options for renal replacement in these patients dialysis typically involves uh, reporting to a hospital or reporting to a dialysis unit getting on a machine getting your blood purified two or three times a week kidney transplant is another option that can be offered to patients especially in younger patients it's one of the best options for them because they can lead a absolutely normal life it's mainly these two options either dialysis or transplant but it's very important to remember that up to a certain point uh, most patients don't require either of these they can be very well managed on medicine and a very important thing to notice that uh, kidney disease is very common in india so you have one in eight indians who have a kidney problem and uh, it's very important to remove the stigma from kidney disease despite having a kidney disease you can lead a very active a very healthy and a very productive life kidney disease is not the end of the road you can still lead a very productive and a very good life despite having a kidney disorder